everybody, Allison here with Finding Fresh Air. In this video, we're gonna show you how to remove the door panels. We are gonna be using this uh, trim tool right here. We're gonna be removing the door panel so we can add some rattle trap and some insulation behind there. So Billy is gonna take over and show you how to do it. Hey everybody, Billy here. So like Allison said, we're gonna be removing the door panels today. We're gonna be using this trim tool. Uh, we got this set from Harbor Freight. It comes with a bunch of different uh, trim tools. You could use these to remove a bunch of door panels, your stereo, anything plastic within the van. Uh, you do that so you don't use like a metal screwdriver because you can really start to damage some of the plastic pieces. Um, as far as these doors panels go, we really don't care if we damage them because we're not going to be putting them back on, but still I'm just going to take care of these things. Maybe I can sell them. I don't know. We'll see. But um, so we're going to get started with that. Allison explained we want to get these off so we can get some rattle trap behind there and some insulation when we get the insulation in. Um, and it's a really simple process, so um, we'll get a little close-up shot and we'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we're going to be using this particular trim tool. Um, I would tell you the number of the tool, but all it says on it is China. So you'll get the, the idea of it because it's the perfect size to get around these little plastic rivets here on the door panels. So find that one in your kit and we'll put a link in the profile in the description to this kit from Harbor Freight. And uh, find that tool and what you're going to do is if you come in a little closer, um, you see there's almost like a little flathead screwdriver piece there and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to stick the other end of the tool in and we're going to twist that to the left, you know, lefty loosen and then it kind of opens up these little gaps on the side of it and we're just going to get this plastic piece underneath and pull out on that. Once we do that it kind of loosens up the whole plastic rivet. That was the piece that was expanding it inside so that it wouldn't pop out. Once you get that going you can really slip this other end in right underneath there and it's this is actually super easy I don't even know if it warrants a full video but just pry it out nice and easy and that's it your plastic rivet is out uh, we're gonna repeat that step for the rest of these um, it's gonna take you about five minutes to get one of these panels off uh, we did the rest of them but we'll show you what this looks like underneath and uh, what we're gonna do afterwards Okay, we got the door panel off and this is what it looks like without the door panel on it. We're gonna add some rattle trap in here. If you need any tips on how to do the rattle trap, just watch our other video. Uh, and then next up, we're gonna take off the door panels for the driver and the passenger side front doors as well. Hey everybody, Billy here with Finding Fresh Air. And in this video, we're gonna show you guys how to remove the headliner above the driver and passenger seat in a 2018 Mercedes Sprinter van. Uh, other models may differ and a uh, usual disclaimer, we're not professionals at this and uh, we're just DIYers trying to get some stuff done and learn some things along the way. So um, what you're gonna need to remove this is uh, your trusty trim tools. And again, we'll leave a description to these. We got these at Harbor Freight. We got a set of five different ones um, to remove a couple of the clips on the headliner and uh, the A and B pillars, I believe they're called. Um, uh, to get the headliner out. Other than that, you'll need a Torx, which is like a the, the five or six like pin star pattern. I think you can use an Allen wrench too. I think that'll fit in there, but it's not a Phillips head or flathead. So you'll need a different type of tool to get that out. I'm not sure what size we're using, but it's uh, two steps down from the top that we have there. <laughs> not exactly professional, like I said, but um, we got the right tools and we're gonna start getting the job done. We'll get a little close up shot as we go through things and we'll show you how to do it along the way. It's fairly easy. You'll get it done pretty quickly. Okay, so like we mentioned, our first step is gonna be removing the four bolts that are attaching the visor assembly in this little shelf to the van. Uh, they go through the headliner attached to the van, so in order to get the headliner off, we gotta remove these. So we'll take our trusty Torx uh, ratchet that we have. I think it's Torx. I'm gonna look that up in a second, and I'll let you guys know in the next section. But we're gonna just be removing these fairly easily, and um, we'll get back to you in a second once we get this off. In addition to the two on top for the visor, you have two underneath. One goes straight through this clip here, which I just removed. And then the other one is right here for the uh, swivel assembly for the visor itself. So once you get all four of those removed, the visor will pop right off. Once you get all four of the 
torx bolts out. We looked it up, that is what you call them. I was right, I don't know, it was, must have been stuck somewhere in the back of my brain from years ago. But once you get all four of the torx bolts out, you had the two up top that we showed you and the two underneath where the visor meets the shelf. Um, once you get all four of those out, really it's, it's gonna be pretty loose, but you have two little like clips underneath there, not really clips, they're like little hooks and just kind of pry down on those and they'll pop right out. They just kind of are a little clip, little, you know, hook there and a little hook there. It just kind of slides right out. Once you're done taking the visors off, the next step is to remove these four clips that are on top of the headliner where it meets this rib, the structural rib of the van. Um, we're using again our trusty uh, Harbor Freight trim tools. I'm using the wide one for this because I really wanted to get a lot of leverage right next to the clip. Um, and it seems to be working pretty well. I already did one. Just a little bit of force takes it out. Um, they can break, but they're easily replaceable. Uh, you can order them online, but it's been pretty easy. I get right next to the clip there and I'm just gonna dry down and they pop right off. So we're gonna repeat that for the next two and then we'll work on these um, A and B pillars here that um, the headliner needs to slide out from behind of. So like I said, um, they are, they break pretty easily and they're easily replaceable and we broke a couple of them. Um, just by prying them down. I'm not really sure why they did. I did them the same as the other ones, but um, if you can, I guess, get one of these other trim tools to get behind them. So you could pry them out without breaking this plastic piece, but we broke a little tip of this. I mean, it honestly still holds it up, but considering I think we think we're gonna keep this, um, uh, this headliner in and maybe add some additional pieces to it, we're gonna order a couple more of these and we'll put a link to those in the profile when we find them, if we find them, um, for you guys to be able to do the same thing if you, if you break them. So we got one side of the headliner out now and kind of wanted to show you guys how we did it while we do the other side. Um, it's slightly difficult, but it's, it's not, it's not really once you actually get, you know, finish it, you know, it's kind of like those, all those things. Like in hindsight, this was actually pretty easy. We didn't have to be too careful. There's nothing to break, but I will say if you do have side curtain airbags, do be careful that you don't stick anything sharp in there or, or mess with any of the cabling behind it. Uh, we'll show you what that looks like once we get the whole thing off, but it's pretty self-contained behind there. You're not going to mess with it if you just take off the headliner. But um, what we did was really our first step was once we got all the bolts out, um, our first step was sliding it towards the rear of the van as much as we could to get it past those bolt uh, receiving pieces uh, behind the visor. Once we got it back a little bit, we noticed we couldn't get it back any further. So that's where you get to the point where you're just gonna remove this A pillar on the passenger side. We did it on the driver's side already. So again, your trusty trim tools, that's what they're for and they work great. So just remove that back a little bit. Uh, this is part of your airbag, so do be careful of that. Don't touch it um, as much as you can. I mean, I just kind of caressed it, but you know. Um, and then there's this uh, tag keeping this here. That's to keep that, I believe that's to keep this piece from flying through the car when the airbag goes off. Uh, once you get that out, um, really, it's just gonna kind of pry from out from behind that as we keep sliding it back. So if we lift it up in front of that, we'll get it to kind of just fall right over that piece. And as you can see, it's pretty free at this point. We're gonna have one electrical piece to unclip from the back where the dome light is. So we'll get to that next. And then this whole piece should come out. As you can already see, there's some factory installed pieces of sound dampening material, but they didn't care about doing too much. So we're gonna add some more and prep this for kind of insulation. I'll probably leave this out until we get the insulation. Um, yeah, that's that. So as we mentioned in the last video, uh, we have to remove the electrical clips here from the, uh, it looks like the factory Bluetooth. Uh, that's for the little Bluetooth speaker that was factory. We have an aftermarket now with our aftermarket uh, uh, head unit. And then this is the connection for the dome lights. So we're just gonna unclip those two and then this should come free. So now that we removed all the clips, all the torque bolts and the two electrical clips in the back, we should be able to just pull this free by sliding it back past the pillars. See what else we're stuck on? Probably just the, uh, just the pillars. And we got one side clear there. And then we got the other side clear. And that is how you remove a headliner in a 2018 Mercedes Sprinter van. All right, everyone. So that's how you remove the headliner in a 2018 Mercedes Sprinter van. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below in the comment section. And uh, subscribe if you like this video and give us a thumbs up. We hope to see you on the next one. All right, thanks.